I am Denis Obona Nachi from Ndibe village, Afipo, a born state in Nigeria. I was born in the year 1937. I grew up at the village of Amobulobo and schooled there, St. Patrick's. There I passed my son at the sixth and left school at the year 1953. I started looking for a job which wasn't easy. And later on, went in and did apprenticeship in motor mechanic, motor repair mechanics for three years. As you know, there was no job for such a qualification. I end up in going to Port Harcourt where I successfully gained a job with the shipping line, Shell Oil Company. Glesola. Glesola is the name of the ship. I come to England with the ship SS Glesola I have been working with from Nigeria. We came to England for the ship to be sold or hand over. When we handed over, they let us stay in the ship while I was sent to Liverpool, where I had to join another ship. And this is when I joined SS Enugu Pam. From Enugu Pam, I sailed back to Nigeria and continued in and out with the ship for four years. I had a leave, came back from my leave. The war broke out, 1967, Nigerian Civil War, and when the ship went back again to Nigeria, as, as she normally do, we, I was more or less refused entry into the country, which I belong to. Why? Because I am an Igbo man, and the Igbos are in war with Nigeria. Biafra. Yeah, I was a Biafra. It wasn't easy for me the day the ship landed in Nigeria. And this was in Lagos port. It was amazing. The army came to the ship for me to take me ashore. To arrest you? Call it, arrest me. And uh, when they got me, they said to me, did you know that in Nigeria and um, Biafra are at war? I said, well, I don't know. All I know is that I left this is my country, Nigeria, and I came back to it as my country, Nigeria. He said, no. Well, with the help of the captain, captain pleaded for me, for them to leave me, which 
they listened to the captain and they left me to sail with the ship. Well, our demonstrations takes place according to the news we may get from Nigeria. Because sometimes we could hear that they have been taken, children are being killed, people are going hungry. We saw pictures of our children back home, which was scary. So, having seen people that I can talk about it and demonstrate about it, well, that made me feel happy. Not that I'm happy because of my people suffering, but at least I've seen people whom I can discuss it with. We are Biafran. Fighting for our freedom, we to Juku leading, we shall conquer. What does that mean? We are elephants we will not be defeated because we didn't think we will lose the war anyway it was the most saddest day in my life i'm sure in everyone's every comrade of us life it was the saddest day because we have seen our children yesterday or last night dying with the hope that as soon as we win the war that they will be all right When the Biafra didn't win that war, I made a vow that I wasn't going to use razor blade on my face. That is shaving, which I maintained. I didn't shave, but it was getting very bad. And a message came from whom that I shouldn't follow that my vow strictly, that I could trim it because I said that I will never use blade. I didn't say that I will never trim my beard so I can trim it down but not to cut it right off at any point in time why did you take that decision we believed that definitely biafra was going to win right yeah but he didn't did you want to look like ojuku the leader of the biafra revolution well um i i didn't even know ojuku you have seen his pictures. Yeah. So, but I took that as a punishment to my, to my soul. Not to look like anybody. A punishment to myself. I miss a lot about Nigeria. Because the family tie, which brings us together, I miss that a lot. 
and uh, the people I grew up with, which we had a very good set of knowing each other. I miss them. I wish, I wish clock could be set back. Let me go home, you know, and enjoy them. <laughs> Sumulala, 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 sumulala.